Well, one of the wonders of modern medicine is subspecialization. We, if we have cancer, we go to an oncologist. If we have a heart problem, we go to a cardiologist. If we have a stroke, we go to a neurologist. And each of those specialists focuses on their particular area of specialization, their particular disease. None of them focus on the whole person who is living with this disease or more than one disease. What palliative care teams do is try to help the patient and family get their needs met while the specialty doctors are addressing treatment of the individual diseases. You don't have to give up your own doctor when you work with a palliative care team. In fact, palliative care teams work hand in hand with the patient's own doctor or doctors to make sure that there's really good communication between all the doctors and nurses taking care of the patient and that their patient and the family's needs as they see them are addressed in a timely and appropriate manner. Palliative care is available at most hospitals now in the United States. Actually, nearly two-thirds of American hospitals now report a palliative care team. The reason it's variable is that palliative care is a relatively new specialty. Ten years ago, most hospitals had never heard of it and didn't deliver this kind of team care. Ten years later, the majority of hospitals are delivering it. But if you're an individual in a community, you should find out whether the hospital in your neighborhood has a palliative care team or not. You can find out by asking your doctor or just calling up the hospital and asking them, do you have a palliative care team? Um, because hospitals and doctors are responsive to what patients and families say they want and say they need. And so individuals can actually have a lot of influence on the kind of care available to them in their community. There is really not a typical patient that a palliative care team sees. Overall, people who would benefit from palliative care are patients living with a serious illness and their families. What's a serious illness? It's advanced cancer. It's advanced heart failure. It's lung disease. It's illnesses with which people live for a long period of time and which are accompanied by distressing symptoms, family suffering, and needs both in home and in the hospital. It's critically important that patients take advantage of palliative care when they're in the hospital for three reasons. The first is by focusing on distressing symptoms such as pain, such as nausea, such as shortness of breath. Palliative care teams make patients feel better. When people feel better, they're much more likely to complete their treatments, much more likely to leave the hospital sooner, get home to where they want to be, and most importantly, it improves their quality of life. The second key reason is that palliative care teams help families. In the setting of a serious illness, it's not just the patient who often has difficulties. The family does as well. That serious illness affects both patients and extends into their families, to their loved ones, and to their circle of friends. And palliative care teams, by focusing on the family and patient as a group of care, helps people in that regard. The third key reason that patients need to take advantage of palliative care is that a serious illness doesn't end when people leave the hospital. It extends into the community, into their homes, and palliative care teams ensure that patients are safe and secure when they leave the hospital. Hospitals are where the majority of seriously ill patients receive their care. That's the point of care where people with serious illness are diagnosed, that's where they're treated, and that is where they need the care the most, and that's why we focused on hospitals. Palliative care is paid for just like any other medical specialty. It's, it's covered by Medicare, by Medicaid, and by third-party insurers. It is no different than cardiology, oncology, or any other area of medicine.